but it's definitely the right thing to do. <laughs> It may be very important that you have one of these. It also is very important to know how to use this. So today we're going to be talking about the EpiPen and in conjunction with that allergic reaction, anaphylaxis and bad reaction stuff. We're going to talk about how to use this at the end. You may have a allergic reaction to something or you might have an allergy to something or know someone who has an allergy to someone. There might be a someone you know or you're just learning about allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. We're going to just be breaking this down like basic basic. We're going to go to a little bit more complex pathophysiology then we're going to be talking about treatment and that exactly where this comes in. And at the end I'll tell you a story where this didn't go so well for someone but luckily they were okay. Anaphylaxis allergic reaction. A antigen or so something comes into the body like a bee sting or peanut powder or peanut flavoring proteins come into the body and then the body mounts this response to then kill that bad peanut. The problem is, is that what happens is that the first time you ingest the peanut, your body goes, oh, I don't feel well because now it's picked up that there's this thing that I am very sensitive to. That's why they also call it like a, a sensitivity reaction or it's just a allergy to something. And so the first time you have the allergic reaction, it's generally very mild. So let's say you're stung by a bee for the first time and you really don't feel well, like you get a little bit shortness of breath and you get a little bit of like a rash and you to go, oh, and then you go, oh, wow, I actually don't feel very well after that. Because the first time you had it, your body got sensitized to it. The second time you have it, your body's going to have a massive overwhelming response to it and that's where we have anaphylaxis or allergic reaction that goes for mango or strawberries or peanuts or shellfish or whatever it is you are allergic to it's the same process the first time you are introduced to it it's like hmm not 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 good not great but then the second time you are then introduced to this chemical your body recognizes it and it's supposed to have a normal response to mango, except this time you start swelling, your whole body goes into massive shutdown and you land up in hospital on a ventilator. Things can turn very bad very quickly. Luckily, we have medications like adrenaline. Adrenaline is absolutely the medication of choice for treating anaphylaxis. Guess what's inside this little thing? Adrenaline. So how do we diagnose an anaphylaxis or a allergic reaction? So generally, there's multiple systems involved in this situation so what i mean by multiple systems is their breathing is compromised so they may become short of breath they're meaning that their breathing may become difficult you may see rashes rashes going up the neck generally on the chest on the arm you see these like hives develop all this changes in their skin develops so if it causes them to be struggling to breathing if it causes them struggling to breathing if it causes um, difficulty in breathing if it causes a rash then that is involving two systems so the skin was considered a system your breathing is considered a system and then there's obviously your heart or your heart rate or blood pressure so if their blood pressure drops and becomes really low it may be difficult to tell without actually taking a blood pressure or being a medical professional but generally speaking they might feel very lightheaded or they might lose consciousness those would be pretty clear signs of a drop in blood pressure they're not feeling well they're finding it very difficult to breathe maybe they find it difficult to swallow they have hives they have visible rashes from taking in something so history is important if you ask someone well what happened it's like well i got stung by a bee and you're like okay well are you allergic you can see how the how the story goes down and so now that we know what allergic reaction is or anaphylaxis is and how you're going to pretty much diagnose the treatment is adrenaline so for anyone who's a medical professional we draw up 0 0.5 milligrams of adrenaline so that's half an amp of adrenaline and you're going to stick it deep into your muscle in your leg on your thigh or anterolateral thigh it's just big muscle on the leg and we're going to inject the adrenaline a epipen is exactly the same thing. There are 0 0.3 milligrams of adrenaline in this. So it is the exact same drug. This costs like a couple of dollars. An amp of adrenaline costs, I think, less than a dollar, you know, because you're not a, a licensed professional and you're not licensed to give this to anyone else. The person is actually meant to give this to themselves. So if you have any allergies or you know someone with allergies or you live with someone or you love someone who has allergies, please make sure they get one of these. They're becoming more and more cheaper to buy. They're becoming more and more simple to use. 
and it's important that you know where it is you and it's important that they know where it is and if you want you can ask them hey do you have any spare EpiPens? i'd love to carry one with me or put one in my car because i want to have one in case you need it so on the front there is instructions it says pull off blue cap see pull off blue cap then it says hold orange tip approximately 10 centimeters from outer thigh and jab firmly into the outer thigh listen for click i'm not going to do that because this is a real epipen but it's pretty simple so you grab it you take off the top and you jam it into your thigh or into the person's thigh you should probably be not be giving it to them but if they're unconscious and they're your loved one i'll do it not that i'm giving you advice to do that but it's definitely the right thing to do <laughs> so you see you pull the cap and then you grab it firmly and you shove it into the big muscle in their leg their thigh or just any big muscle it actually doesn't matter really but yeah any muscle in their leg or big thigh in their leg don't go for a bone or whatever and that is as simple as it gets so the story that i wanted to tell you about is I didn't actually go to this call personally, but I was told about it. I'm not going to lie to you about that. He has an allergy for something. I'm not exactly sure what it was. They had an EpiPen in the house. And so he, whatever the allergy was, I can't remember. He took the EpiPen. He pulled off the blue tag. He put his thumb on the top and he whammed it into his leg with his thumb on the needle. And you can imagine what happened. Uh, the paramedics got there and he walked out with an EpiPen stuck to his thumb and that is the story what happened is that the needle went straight through his thumb and went into his bone and was stuck in his bone in his thumb that is not what you want to do so remember blew up the cap comes off remember the instructions are on the front not that you're going to have the patients to read that in an emergency and you just push hard into the leg you keep it in the leg while the medication is injected into the muscle and you phone for help because that's also what it says dial 999 or whatever number it is for you to call an ambulance. So guys, I hope that this was useful. If it was, please hit like and subscribe and share it with anyone you know or think would benefit from watching this. Thank you for your time and bye for now.